Today's the day we change our cattle herd. So let's shut some gates and go get the cows. So right behind me here is our dividing wire down the middle of our big pasture that we rotationally graze. We just recently spread seed in this field, so we don't want the cows up here, but this is where our working pens are, where our crowds and head shoot and everything is. So we've got to go get the cows at the back. We're going to bring them up this west side over here and take them up. I'm shutting all the gates. We're going to take them up and make a little alleyway to our crowd. Try to make this as stress-free as possible on them and on us. So uh, let's go get some posts and build the alley and then go get the cows. Okay, I've never been so glad to see something in my life. I put this camera down. This is our nice GoPro camera that we use all the time. We love this camera. And it filmed me driving away and I thought, ah, I'll get it on the way back. But when I picked all the posts up, I lost my line in the field and I lost the camera. So I've been looking for it, but thankfully I found y'all. I just gotta take a second and show y'all this sky. I know this will never do it justice, but oh, I love the sky in fall. Yeah, this is definitely not, well, you can't see, can you? Barely. <laughs> now you can. This is definitely not what we wanted. We're always, oh, there they are, waiting a day late and a dollar short, aren't we? Oh, yeah. That's how we roll. Oh, yeah. there. They're all in the woods. Hey y'all, so this video is going on for several days. It's probably all over the place. We took you back there thinking we were going to get the cows up pretty easily, bring them up front to the corral, and then get them up and work them. Got back there and like I told you earlier, everything had went crazy. Cows out everywhere, the bulls, neighbors bull in our pen, and just nothing worked right. I think Emily might have got a little footage, but here we are a couple days later. Uh, we actually did get the cows up. They walked up perfectly, got them up to the crowd, put some tags and some ears of cows that didn't have any. So now we are ready to figure out who is bred and who's not, and they've got a number assigned to them. Um, and then we are gonna cull some cows. While we were at it tagging cows, we went ahead and got up 31 calves that are ready to be weaned. We've got more than that, but some weren't quite old enough. I'm gonna show you guys who we weaned off their moms. So 
So we actually put in three uh, cows that were kind of sickly looking. We're gonna medicate them, take care of them, get them back to health, and then we'll either preg check them and cull them or turn them out with the herd, not sure yet. But so they're up here as well. We're about to get them up. They need to be medicated four days in a row. Um, if you are going to use medicines, antibiotics sparingly like we do, you need to know what you're doing. You need to know what kind. And some of them are like a one-shot deal. Some of them have to be done several days in a row or you're just wasting time and money and you're not helping the animal at all. So we are using a less potent antibiotic. Um, it's called LA-200 and we'll be given that four days in a row. Hopefully these girls will bounce right back. Um, cows just get kind of pulled down this time of year. The grass is gone and or it's dwindling down. They've had a calf on them for some of them for six months. So we got them up, we got who we wanted plus some, but that's always better than not enough. So we're gonna sort them out and these three girls will stay in here for four days. Then we'll figure out what to do with them after that. So Lane's gotta sort three cows. It's already sorted a bunch of calves back there. Got them sorted, didn't you? Yep. Cows in one pen, cows in another. So I'm gonna get these fixed up, medicated, and some water and feed, and try to nurse them back to health. So you can see all these calves in the background. They're mostly all six months old or older, and that's about the time we wean here on our farm. That gives their moms time, like we, we calve in the spring, meaning our calves are born in the spring. So these grow all summer long on fresh grass, lots of grass for them and mama. And then come fall, we wean them off because ideally the mama cow should be bred back by that time. And instead of her supporting a pregnancy and a calf through the winter, she just has to worry about herself and growing a new calf. And it just works better that way. Um, the older a calf gets, in this case, these guys, they're pretty big they'll start really pulling a cow down, meaning she'll start looking pretty skinny and like she needs some more nutrition. And so it's time to wean at that point. In fact, one of the three cows that's up here that I'm gonna nurture a little bit, um, I think she's just simply pulled down from her calf, drank a lot, and then the more the calf drinks, uh, the more she produces, and it's just a cycle that then pulls her down eventually. And so it's time to wean these. These will be beef for probably at least a year from now about a year and a half old is our goal and so that produces um, the best beef uh, the younger you can get them ready for butcher weight and so that's what we're doing they're going out here in my milk pen for a bit one thing to note about weaning calves um, they have different stomachs calves have multiple stomachs and you have to get the one that's going to um, thrive on grass or grain or whatever activated i'll say they've been relying all this time their whole life on mama to feed them now they've started grazing they're definitely feeding themselves some to get that rumen going and all the things that they need to survive on their own without mom you may have to feed them a little bit of grain when you first wean them or keep a close eye on them make sure they're eating make sure they're not just standing out there bawling for mom another thing to note about weaning calves you can see how they're down there in the corner and their moms are just beyond that kind of catty corner to them. A really successful way to wean calves is called fence line weaning, meaning they are literally across the fence from each other. Now you'll have to have a sturdy fence, probably a hot wire to keep them apart, but that is less stressful on both of them. They will still stand there and ball for each other, but they're right there together. Even though you're not allowing them to nurse, you're not completely removing them from mom yet. So the cows that those calves belong to that are up in that corner, their moms have stayed up in the upper part of the pasture close by them. That just makes things a lot less stressful and it really doesn't take long at all, just a couple days and they stop bawling. They realize, hey, I'm okay, everything's okay. Um, even though they can't get to mom's milk anymore, it's best for everyone to wean them at that point. One important thing when you are medicating animals, two actually, know the withdrawal period, meaning don't give a shot and then haul it to a sale barn or to a sale if the withdrawal period is, like in this case, 28 days. 
just know your withdrawal times look on your medicine bottles also when you're dealing with some that you think are kind of puny or sickly change your needle that's the number one tip you don't want to be spreading blood-borne diseases uh, change your needle they're cheap it's easy the doctor is in the doctor's in <laughs> So we got the cows medicated. They're set up with hay and water. Um, I'm not sure earlier in this video if I told you, but we were doing all of that so we could get the cows up. When we went back there and the cows were out, we were trying to get them up so we could use an ultrasound machine that we are being loaned from IMV Imaging. We used it in the spring, got back home, got the cows up here and we were ready to do it and we had the wrong ultrasound machine. So uh, they're, they're sending us the right one and we will be getting to that probably later this week. We'll show you guys, we'll tell you kind of the head count of who's pregnant, who's not, what's the plan to save the herd and really our cattle farm. Uh, we've got some improvements to make or we're kind of a train wreck right now. And if you don't stop the wrecking, the train is gonna wreck. Um, but we have a plan to get the train back on the tracks and moving forward and prosperous. So stay with us. We're going back right now to move the cows to fresh grass while we wait on the ultrasound machine to get here and then we'll just have to go bring them back up. So uh, I'll leave you with us moving the cows. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching and God bless. Me and this dude right here have got a love-hate relationship. I love how much wire it holds and how big of an area I can do with it. But I definitely hate reeling it back in. It is wearing me out. This thing right here will hold over half a mile of wire, of this poly wire, or turbo wire from Gallagher. So we can pretty much do a whole two sides of this uh, 35 acre field with one reel. That makes it so nice, but reeling it in, kicks my tail. There's no way you're gonna reel it in. Stay down there and reel it all the way back up to you. Too many corners in it and everything else. But we're almost there. We're on the home stretch.